do you think there can be a danger with taking too much zinc if you're copper toxic? Yeah, if you're copper toxic and you're taking too much zinc, depending on what your copper load is and what your other toxic load is, what your uh, uh, health uh, history is, uh, it's possible if you take too much zinc initially, it can throw yourself into an extremely intense, heavy detox of copper. And one of the effects could be to throw you into a psychosis. Yeah. And I've seen that, uh, where copper levels just shoot sky high mm -hmm. on a hair analysis retest. And some of these people have uh, felt like they've totally lost it, mentally, emotionally, and behaviorally. Yeah. And, uh, so they also need to have information about the copper dumping from cells and tissues of the copper detox process. And understand the reactions that can happen during yeah. an aggressive copper detox. Right. And to understand the copper roller coaster, mm -hmm. where when you start a supplement program uh, with copper toxicity, uh, for a lot of women, there's an initial pickup of energy. And uh, they have a wow reaction. Energy is picking up from chronic fatigue, exhaustion, and depression. But then they hit a uh, peak where then the body has enough energy to trigger a release of copper. Yeah. When that happens, their energy crashes and their symptoms flare up much more intensively. And then they bottom out. But they usually don't drop as low as they initially started. And then energy will start coming back up. They'll hit another peak, another detox. That's what I call riding the copper roller coaster. So I ask a lot of these uh, copper toxic individuals, are you willing to ride the copper roller coaster? Because this is the nature of the process. Yeah, and I think you know, six months to two years is a realistic timeline. I think if you expect. Absolutely. If you expect to detox within a week or a month, uh, I don't think it's it's uh, realistic or possible, to be honest. Yeah, and I don't think uh, aggressive detox protocols uh, are warranted or help most people. It's too much too fast. And what I find also is that aggressive detox will shoot the copper then that maybe is safely stored in the liver, uh, mobilize it, and ends up more in the brain, yep. causing more intense psychological reactions. Exactly. Um, the uh, Dr. Malter's book, um, The Strands of Health, A Guide to Tissue Mineral Analysis, this fantastic um, foundation book for uh, understanding copper toxicity, the calcium shell phenomenon, and applying HTMA um, to the copper toxicity phenomenon. So check out um, The Strands of Health, mm -hmm. A Guide to Tissue Mineral yeah. Analysis, uh, and coppertoxic.com. Yeah, and together we want to uh, disseminate a lot more important, valid information about what I call the scourge of copper toxicity. It has devastated millions of lives for lack of understanding and interventions. Uh, now, one other point I want to make is if you pick up uh, copper toxicity in a young child, especially a female child, and you can begin to detox her copper load, before she hits pre-adolescence, mm -hmm. and certainly adolescence, you can save a life. Yeah. I, I wish more people had this information, um, because so many people can be helped if they simply understood that copper toxicity exists, and the importance of HTMA for understanding your mineral system, getting to the root of you know uh, what's causing symptoms as a kid, as an adult. Um, and yeah, if you can get to the child in um, before teenage years when estrogen starts to increase, which then increases the copper load, uh, I think progress can be seen a lot faster. Exactly. And you can actually prevent a lot of serious physical and or psychological crises. Mm -hmm.